guys, my name is Matt Cook. I'm the Regional Coaching Coordinator for Cairns Hockey. In this presentation, we're going to talk about planning and conducting a training session. The key for a coach is to make sure they're planned, prepared, and they know what they want to achieve in a training session. So let's take a look at the following presentation and see how we go. So you can see here I've listed, for me, the five most important uh, aspects of, of planning and conducting a training session. So when, you, when you're setting up and thinking about your training session, it's incredibly important that you have a purpose to the training session. So you identify as a coach. This week, you know, in the game, we may have struggled with our first touch. So you identify that's, that's what your purpose of your training is, to get the athletes better at that particular skill or in a particular area of the game. After you've identified what, what the purpose of your session is, make sure you have a plan. So incorporate some drills and activities and even games that have that purpose, so you can try and get some consistency and flow to your training session. After you've got the plan, right, make sure when you're conducting the training session, you, you remain disciplined and you keep, keep focusing on the particular skill. An example of this would be if we are working on our first touch and we're doing a, a passing drill that might finish in a goal shot, now let's not get caught up in the, in the passing quality or the, or the goal shot at the end. If the athletes are demonstrating and improving in their first touch, and that's the focus of the training session, reinforce that. Try not to get too caught up on the goal shot at the end. You can address that in the future, and that'll come. After you've identified the focus and then you keep focusing on that, try and make sure the kids are engaged or the athletes are engaged for as much as possible. What you want to avoid is having a big line of kids with that aren't engaged and aren't active in a drill and only one or two athletes from the team that are active and engaged in the drill. Try and keep them all engaged and all focused on that particular area. At the conclusion of the session, it's really, really important that you review the learnings with the group and try and reinforce the good habits so that they can break away from the bad habits that they, they may have previously had. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I'm going to leave you today with some, some really good clips and show some fantastic drills and show all the athletes engaged and active participating in the training sessions. Hope you guys have enjoyed and good luck with your teams.